I'm going to talk to you now is uh, our uh, master program in sustainability science at our uh, university. We have a special faculty here for sustainability. And as Yasmin just mentioned, uh, I come from the law school, but I'm actually a professor at the uh, uh, sustainability faculty. And because when I, I, I'm a traditional lawyer, but I came from yeah, let's say law in practice. Uh, I've been working for the, uh, for instance, for the Hamburg uh, government. I've been working for the German federal government and so on. I'm also a judge, so I'm a traditional lawyer. But what I really like and what I really appreciate is uh, working together with other disciplines. And that's why I'm at the sustainability faculty. And what I want to do is I want to tackle the problems we are facing, the global problems, the challenges we, yeah, we have to face now. Uh, I mean, as you all know, uh, the challenge of climate change, for instance, uh, which uh, yeah is unheard of, and we have actually we don't know yet how to solve uh, these uh, problems, but we try to contribute uh, to all of that in our sustainability science uh, faculty. In, in the subject, in the master program for uh, sustainability. And of course, all of you, I think, have heard of uh, the uh, sustainable development goals. Um, and uh, this is kind of our Bible. You know, it is uh, the frame, it is the, the basis we, we work on. And, uh, and sustainability, you can say, is everything and nothing at the same time. But we, what we would like to do is we like to find ways, we find, like to find solutions uh, which combine various uh, goals, various uh, targets we have here. And we have these 17 uh, sustainable development goals. And of course, there are trade-offs between these goals, which we have to look at. And so we have a scientific approach uh, here, which we like to of course, show uh, our students. And as we well know, these challenges, they are really urgent and we have the planetary boundaries. I've been traveling a lot around the world and I've been, I've, I've taught in various countries, in, in America, in Asia and so on. And I know about yeah, the world, I know how small it actually is. And we want to show you, we want to you know, try to teach you to get a better understanding of the interdependencies of various uh, subjects and, and so on. So a lot of uh, topics here. What we would like to you to become is uh, change agents. You should be the ones who know more, who know better, and who contribute to changing. Uh, the world towards a more sustainable uh, system. And I think the change agent, this is actually what we want you to be, kind of a global elite who yeah, is yeah, at, the, at, the, at the forefront. At the, you're kind of front runners uh, for sustainability. And so this is what our university uh, is looking at. We are committed uh, to contribute to this search for solutions, to strate strategies, to answer, and so on. So, which of course uh, yeah, depends on a change of values, on the digital revolution, globalization, and all these topics uh, mentioned here. And yeah, and so <clears throat> what we need is. Uh, yeah, an environmental and sustainability approach, and we need a scientific approach. There's so much fake news in the world. And if you look, if, I mean, we're all, of course, uh, on the internet. We all look at uh, websites, and, and you have your special websites, and other have, others have other websites, and so on. Uh, but our approach is different. We have a scientific approach. We are based on evidence. We want to get the proof. And on the basis of evidence, we try to change. We try to 
change things in my yeah, special field of research in energy and environmental law i try to find instruments i i'm also an advisor to our uh, german federal government for instance uh, and i write laws and and so on and so i think this is quite important looking at our uh, faculty of uh, sustainability you can see that we have uh, two parts here one is social sciences with uh, yeah, the communication sector policy uh, economics and so if and the other yeah the other is uh, natural sciences with yeah, sustainable landscapes conservation biology and so on ecosystems and so on but there's a combining part which is which we uh, name as uh, transdisciplinarity and sustainability ethics for instance so transdisciplinarity is more than interdisciplinarity it means that we look at the world we look at the the people on the street we ask them what do you think about it we are not only kind of locked in our uh, ivory tower but we are in the world we are part of the world when with kind of sort of real laboratories and so on we try to change uh, and not just stay at the university so there's a lot of for instance excursions in our uh, curriculum uh, for instance with my students every year i i travel to brussels of course not in corona times i'm afraid but normally uh, we we visit the european uh, institutions and so on we have a lot of discussions with politicians and uh, administration officers and so on so i think this is quite ex ex important here so all this leads to change Society, uh, social and environmental changes. That's what we need. So we are uh, here in Lüneburg, the only faculty for sustainability in Germany. Uh, worldwide, there are one or two others. For instance, one is in Arizona uh, at the uh, Arizona State University. Um, but uh, there are not many of them. We come from the traditional environmental science uh, approach, but we said environmental science is not enough. We need more. We need this global approach. We need a yeah, sustainability approach here. So what we want to teach you is this uh, yeah, inter and transdisciplinary focus. Uh, we want yeah, to give you an insight in various subjects but you also should know about the interdependencies between all these subjects so you will not become uh, what we call in german Fachidioten, which is um, yeah, subject idiots in english maybe but uh, you will have a global and a comprehensive uh, knowledge in the end i think that's what what we find is uh, very important so new ways of thinking and um, yeah we of course we are based on disciplines on disciplinary fundamentals but we want more than that so there's a lot of research at our faculty we have uh, plenty of phd students we have plenty of third party funded uh, projects and so on we have several millions every year of uh, project fundings and we include our students in these uh, yeah, research uh, programs and so on. So the basic structure of our program is that we have a major subject, which is sustainability science and so on. And, uh, and we, have a, we also have a complementary studies programs. Uh, so you could look at other disciplines, for instance. Uh, we also have uh, then, of course, in the end, the master uh, dissertation. And uh, so all in all, uh, this is uh, a four semester program, a two year program uh, we offer with uh, yeah, subjects like natural sciences, uh, humanities, uh, social sciences. But we also have and what we think is very important, uh, transdisciplinary research uh, projects here. So combining all this uh, together. 
And so we have various subjects, as I said, in our curriculum, uh, I, and I won't mention them all here. I mean, you can, of course, you can ask me whenever you like. Um, and uh, so, but it's all based on the first natural sciences and then social sciences and what is in between. And uh, so you get an approach, for instance, also in sustainable chemistry. So you get an approach to uh, sustainability law, environmental law, um, energy law, which is uh, my subject, and many other subjects. And you have uh, plenty of choices here. Um, so looking at career pro prospects, uh, there is not a clear career path here, but our graduates, uh, I would say quite a, a large, a high percentage uh, stay in research and they go for a PhD they, to other countries, to other universities, at our own university and so on. And uh, they're employed by international uh, com companies, organizations and so on. Uh, also, public administration is an interesting employer. For instance, in Germany, uh, we have uh, uh, in many uh, county administrations, we have uh, uh, climate change experts nowadays. And they mostly come, or many of them come from our faculty. Um, so the entry requirements are you need a bachelor's degree uh, and of any uh, yeah, yeah, just a bachelor's degree, and you need some, of course, some knowledge before. Uh, if you if you do not have a completed bachelor's degree, uh, you can also apply. But uh, we will look at what actually you've got, and uh, and English language, of course, is uh, necessary because uh, our courses are mainly taught in English. Um, so you don't need any German language skills here, but uh, it is, of course, useful uh, to uh, take uh, German language courses. But we all we offer them all, of course. Um, so and conse consecutive uh, subjects we have here uh, are, yeah, oh, I think it's a great variety of subjects from biochemistry or environmental science, uh, sociology, and legal studies, and so on. So whatever you have in your bachelor's degree, I think we will look at it. And uh, I think uh, most of whatever is possible, we will uh, acknowledge. But I should also um, say here that we have a large number of uh, applications and we have many more applications than places for students. So there's a relatively strict uh, uh, selection procedure. Um, I can't tell, I think I there are five, six, seven, eight uh, applications for one place. So it's relatively hard to, to get in our program, but this shouldn't hinder you, I think, just uh, go ahead and try. Um, so, um, so we look at not only the grades, we also look at your international experience, your personality. Uh, did you do any voluntary war work or did you get any scholarships and so on? Um, so if you like, if you'd like some further information, uh, there is a couple of websites. I think that's also at uh, what Jasmine told, uh, showed you. Uh, and I will, of course, be available uh, for you uh, in the yeah, question and answer uh, form here. But uh, also we can, I think we'll have some time to discuss it. So thank you very much for your uh, attention and I'm looking forward to your questions and further discussions.